Hello, it is Explorers. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching. For those of you who follow our channel, you notice we focus on informative and educating content within the African continent. Today, we are looking at one of Africa's countries that is rarely talked about. Very beautiful. It has an amazing characteristics. In this episode, this country has been consistently rated to be the least corrupt country in the continent of Africa by Transparency International. Also, I've split this particular episode into three sections. I'm going to talk about the country itself, talk about its capital, and more importantly, close this episode with regards to its economy. In this case, we are talking about the amazing country of Botswana. Have you been to Botswana recently? or you've just read Botswana in the news, in this episode, you will know Botswana like never before seen. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. In considering Botswana, for those of you who don't know, Botswana is a landlocked country in Southern Africa. It is bordered by Namibia, South Africa and Zimbabwe with an area of just over 582,000 square kilometers. The country is slightly larger than France. Also, it's also maybe slightly smaller than the United States state of Texas. Approximately two-thirds of the country lies within the tropics. Botswana is well known for its some of its high and best wilderness and wildlife areas on the African continent. 38% of its total land area are devoted to national parks, reserves and also wildlife management areas. Looking ahead, the country is sparsely populated because up to 70% of the country is covered by the Kalahari Desert. The vast arid to semi-arid landscape in Southern Africa covering much of Botswana's part of Namibia and South Africa. Botswana's population is just over 2.4 million people based on recent figures. It's concentrated in the eastern part of the country. In looking at this amazing African country of Botswana, Botswana was formerly known as the, the British Protectorate of the Beshunte Nalan. Botswana adopted its new name upon independence in 1966. The economy, one of most robust in the continent of Africa, is dominated by diamond mining. Botswana has a flourishing multi-party constitutional democracy. Each of the elections since independence has been freely and fairly contested and has been held unscheduled. The country's uh, small ethnic uh, minority, so to point out, and other minorities participate freely in political processes. Looking at that, Botswana also has an amazing tourism industry. Tourism is an increasing important industry in Botswana, accounting for almost 12% of the GDP, could be more. One of the world's most unique ecosystems, the Okavanga Delta, is located in Botswana. The country offers excellent game viewing and also beds both in the Delta and also the Shobe Game Reserve, home to one of the largest herds of free-ranging elephants in the world. Botswana Central Kalahari Game Reserve also offers game very important and viewing on some of the most remote and unspoiled wilderness in Southern Africa and around the world. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. In considering Botswana and looking at this country, as we've talked about, we are diving straight into looking at the beautiful capital of Gaborone. Considering Gaborone from 1880, so to point out, in looking at this episode, Gaborone is the capital and the largest city in the African country of Botswana. Formerly known as the Gaborone, so to point out, the name was changed and the town was declared capital of the country shortly after Botswana won its independence from Great Britain in 1966. Its history, however, extended back much further than 1966. In looking at that, Though it's the last century, the location has a not formal tribal affiliation. So to point out, in 1880, it was settled by the Cuxit Gaborons, a Botswana chief of the Batlokwa people. Chosen for its nearness to the uh, North Wane River, he called it the Moshwawek. Today, the people of Botswana range from the clan members of the original 
Battle of Quack tribes, as well as expatriates from the developed world. These from also the original Tokwala people can trace their lineage back to Queen Matantisi and her son Chief Sekolewa. They turn to speak both English and Seswana language. Moving forward, Gaborone is also the center of economic and also business in Botswana, with numerous important companies. Looking at that, headquarters in capitals as well as most of the national financial institution. The BS, one of the world's largest diamond mining companies, was founded near Gaborone in 1888. Its international headquarters remains based in Gaborone. Today, the beer employs many locals teaching them important skills of diamond sorting and cutting through partnership uh, with national uh, government. This virtual is also called the Deswana and also ensures that the people are well and diamond industry benefits from mining enterprise in situated in different ways with regards to Botswana. Gaborone is an amazing African capital. It has attracted lots of uh, investors and also foreign companies that operate in this beautiful African country. Gaborone offers a lot. For those of you who are planning to visit Gaborone, it will amaze your experience with regards to how transformative and modern this African capital is. Moving forward, one of Botswana's major features outside of the diamond industry, it is natural beauty. So to point out, unique flora and fauna abounds in numerous reserves such as the area surrounding the Gaborone Dam and Gaborone Game Reserves, which is world famous for its third bird watching. So to point out, other attraction includes the Nkale Hills and also the Makoloti Natural Reserve. Numerous species inhabit the reserves including the Impala, Ostriches, Zebras, a wider beast, a spring books, and also common England, a water dogs, and hippos. The critically endangered white rhino is also in this particular uh, reserves, and although once nearly extinct, it is being reintroduced back into reserves population. In looking forward, the reserves climate tends to be hot and semi arid, but its proximity to looking at the natural streams allow animals, flores, and also humans to flourish. Sumari land. The Tikolongu, the environmental watch in Botswana, so the point that one of the largest members based in NGOs in Africa is also headquartered in the Ecological Park. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking forward, during the four decades, long anti appetite struggled in the neighboring South Africa. Botswana, especially Gaborone, so the point that suffered violence at the hands of South African Defense Forces, which illegally killed a cross border to attack the armed wings of the African National Congress. The Unkonto we see where the spear of the nation, as it was abbreviated MK, which had upped operations in the country. The largest raid took place in 1985 when South African troops crossed into Botswana and attacked the offices of the Unchokunto with Siswale in Gaborone. Twelve people were killed at the time, including women and children. Only five of those dead were worked for the MK. This country's capital has a huge history. It has transformed over the years in a number of ways. It has also provided a lot of opportunities for businesses and transactions. Botswana's international airport, so to point out, uh, Gaborone, so to point out, has an amazing connection within the region. And in looking at the different access in its industries and other very important things that will lead you for those of you who are planning to visit and discover this amazing African country. Botswana has some very interesting things when you talk about economy of any African country. Botswana has a very peaceful society looking at its economy, it's very stable and also peaceful in terms since independence. It also has zero tolerance with regards to corruption and also boosts sound legal system and adherence to a rule of law. It has also been rated uh, a very least transparent, a uh, least corrupt country, so the point that in Africa, by Transparency International, Botswana is committed to sound fiscal policy, economic freedom, and also has steadily and dramatically have uh, increasing growth in recent years, with also highest sovereign credit rating in Africa, according to Standard & Poor, a Moody's ranking with uh, also corresponding to positive outlook. 
Botswana ranks second in the freest economy in Africa. So the point out, looking at its GDP in 2016 drawing back, which was about 15.6 billion, with per capita GDP and also the US uh, just over 6,972, with a growth rate at the time uh, moving to just over 4.3% at that time. Currently, looking at the Botswana also is the fastest economic growth rate in the region as well. Looking at the different aspects, Botswana offers a lot of other massive market opportunities. Investors with preference also market access to the South African Development Community, known as the SADC, entire marketplace and as well over 293 million people in 14 countries with a combined GDP of more than 700 billion US dollars for those investors who are thinking of moving to this African country. In looking forward, free access markets to South Africa, Namibia, Lesotho and also Swaziland through the uh, Southern African Union of SECU. Botswana is heart of the economic in the region that's expected to grow by, I mean, a huge percentage looking at coming out, out from the COVID-19. In looking at that, there is also duty-free quotas, free access to European Union uh, market through the EU uh, SAD EPA agreement and the duty-free quotas, free access to more than 6,800 products into the United States of America. USA to the point that market through the African Growth and Opportunity Act and Agreement. All of these provide Botswana an amazing opportunity for those of you who are planning to explore this amazing African country. The quality of Botswana's workforce is second to none in Africa. So to point out, they have hard experienced professionals who have moved in from different regions across the continent. The workforce is well educated. Over 82 percent are, Ill are literate, so to point out, and most speaks English. There are no labor tension, so to point out, most people are peaceful and responsible, and the different communities maintain harmonious relationship in looking at this. All of these has drive this country to a whole full different level. In understanding this, the tax system, the Botswana wants to make investment work for investors coming into the country, and this country has opened its door in doing business. There is also continuation in terms of growth, the consistency in opening in industries and also the market economy in different aspects to law investors that are coming in within the African region and those coming from abroad. In looking at this, Botswana and its capital Gaborone are transformed in total considering from 1966 when the country's independence came around that struggles and other things, the country has come a long way. Botswana is not what it used to be in the men in past couple of years. It is a new dawn in Botswana and this country will amaze your experience for those of you who plan to visit. For those of you who have worked in Botswana, we would like to hear from you. If you've done business in Botswana, we would also like to know what amazed you while you spend time in this amazing African country. Have you lived in Botswana before? Have you done business in Gaborone? Have you interacted with this country in terms of vacation or different holiday aspect in safari or in what other aspect? We would like to know what amazed you at your time in this amazing African country. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully we've informed you with regards to Botswana, why this country is unique in the continent of Africa. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to check some of our other informative video on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.